Maintenance Publications 1. Airworthiness directives are issued primarily to correct an unsafe condition. 2. The issuance of an airworthiness certificate is governed by 14 CFR Part 21. 3. The following is a table of airspeed limits as given in an FAA issued aircraft specification. Normal operating speed 260 knots never exceeds B293 knots maximum landing gear operation speed 174 knots maximum flap extended speed 139 knots the high end of the white arc on the airspeed instrument would be at 139 knots. 4. Which regulation provides information regarding instrument range markings for an airplane certificated in the normal category? 14 CFR Part 23 5. The following words are an example of what kind of statement in an AD required within the next 25 hours time and service after the effective date of this AD, unless already accomplished. Compliance 6. Which regulation provides the airworthiness standards for an airplane certificated in the normal category? 14 CFR Part 23 1. When is a mechanic responsible for checking AD compliance? When performing an inspection required under Part 91, 125, or 135. 2. Suitability for use of a specific propeller with a particular engine airplane combination can be determined by reference to what informational source? Aircraft specifications or aircraft type certificate data sheet. 3. What information is generally contained in aircraft specifications or type certificate data sheets? Control surface movements. 1. Which of the following includes all the regulatory definitions of maintenance, overhaul, repair, parts replacement, inspection, and preservation? 2. An aircraft mechanic is privileged to perform major alterations on U.S. certificated aircraft. However, the work must be done in accordance with FAA-approved technical data before the aircraft can be returned to service, which is not approved data. AC 43.13-2A 3. Under the Federal Aviation Regulations, an aviation maintenance technician is required to perform maintenance on an aircraft so that it is at least equal to its original or properly altered condition. 4. What is the maximum penalty for cheating or other unauthorized conduct when taking an FAA mechanic test? Ineligibility to receive any certificate or rating for one year, and suspension or revocation of any certificate held. 5. Technical information about older aircraft models, of which no more than 50 remain in service, can be found in the Aircraft Listing. 6. Specifications pertaining to an aircraft model manufactured under a type certificate of which less than 50 are shown on the FAA aircraft registry, can be found in the aircraft listing. 7. An aircraft type certificate data sheet contains location of the datum. 8. A complete detailed inspection and adjustment of the valve mechanism will be made at the first 25 hours after the engine has been placed in service. Subsequent inspections of the valve mechanism will be made each second 50 hour period. From the above statement, at what intervals will valve mechanism inspections be performed? 100 hours. 9. What is the maintenance recording responsibility of the person who complies with an airworthiness directive? Make an entry in the maintenance record of that equipment. 1. 2. A certificated power plant mechanic may make a minor repair on an aluminum propeller and approve for return to service. Regarding the above statements, only number 2 is true. 2. Check thrust bearing nuts for tightness on new or newly overhauled engines at the first 50 hour inspection following installation. Subsequent inspections on thrust bearing nuts will be made at each third 50 hour inspection. From the above statement, 
At what intervals should you check the thrust bearing nut for tightness? 150 hours. 3. 2. FAA publications such as Technical Standard Orders, Airworthiness Directives, Type Certificate Data Sheets, and Aircraft Specifications in Supplemental Type Certificates are all approved data. Regarding the above statements, only number 2 is true. 4. Where are technical descriptions of certificated propellers found? Propeller type certificate data sheets. 1. Primary responsibility for compliance with airworthiness directives lies with the aircraft owner or operator. 2. The Air Transport Association of America ADA, specification number 101 establishes a standard for the presentation of technical data in maintenance manuals. 2. Divides the aircraft into numbered systems and subsystems in order to simplify locating maintenance instructions. Regarding the above statements, both number 1 and number 2 are true. 3. What does the type certificate data sheet designation code? 2PCSM mean? 2 place, number of seats, closed, C, monoplane. 4. 1. The Federal Aviation Regulations require approval after compliance with the data of a supplemental type certificate. Only number 1 is true. 5. Placards required on an aircraft are specified in aircraft specifications or type certificate data sheets. 6. When an airworthy, at the time of sale, aircraft is sold, the airworthiness certificate is transferred with the aircraft. 7. How long are AD compliance records required to be kept? They shall be retained, and then transferred with the aircraft when it is sold. 8. 1. A supplemental type certificate may be issued to more than one applicant for the same design change, providing each applicant shows compliance with the applicable airworthiness requirement. Only number 1 is true. 9. The action required by an AD may take what form? 1. Inspection. 2. Part S. Replacement. 3. Design modification. 4. Change in operating procedure S. 1, 2, 3, and or 4. 10. Which of the following are sometimes used as authorization to deviate from an aircraft's original type design? 1. FAA Form 337. 2. Supplemental Type Certificate. 3. Airworthiness Directive. 1, 2, and 3. 11. Aviation Maintenance Alerts, formerly General Aviation Airworthiness Alerts. Aviation Maintenance Alerts, formerly General Aviation Airworthiness Alerts. 12. Type Certificate Data Sheets are issued for which of the following products? Aircraft, engines, and propellers. 